What's good, YouTube family? This your boy Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, man, I know y'all seen the response Tay K sister just did. Folks going crazy. You ain't hear folks talking about Tay K name in a minute. Now nah, everybody in their mom back the same free Tay K again. You got everybody speaking about it. Somebody told me to do this video. Don't worry, y'all. The new hip hop videos we've been doing, we've the the new form we've been doing which is the old ways we're, we're keeping it going i had to do this brief intermission to respond to one of my supporters who i'm not even mad at they told me to do this video on tay k charleston white went crazy he said don't free tay k i'm not gonna go out the way and say don't free no man i, I don't do nothing like that I, I don't have nothing against charleston white saying it i just i prefer not to say that because i don't really wish no one in prison jail i just said it is what it is is the wild wild west but here look let me say it better for y'all here's where i can agree with charleston white at besides the prison part i didn't see none of y'all speaking this man name no more go check my channel i've made several videos and said tay k was it worth it because these type of people gassing you up it's a trend bruh it, it fluctuate up and down with the with, with the way they feel today. You know what I mean? It's, the, it, it's like a mood swing. Not even a normal, typical, you know what I'm saying? Natural mood swing. It's, it's like a social media mood swing in real life, bro. These people just feel a vibe about you, bro. Because your music, the way you are stacking, you know what I mean? The, the, the gang signs or whatever. The way you ran away from authority. You were gone for however long and filming videos. The way allegedly, because I still say every man has a right to plead his innocence, who am I to say he's guilty? So I'm going to still say allegedly, you know what I mean? They got you for killing multiple people, shooting at people, beating up old people, bro. Educational purpose. I got to sit back and ask all these people, bro. If you love this man so much, like y'all said y'all was doing, bro. You should have made him feel comfortable to be in a, in a lane of music where real life scenarios shouldn't have to be played out or get amplified on y'all. And I'm not blaming y'all for making this man do his decisions that put himself, you know what I mean, in that doghouse. He's a grown individual. I'm sorry, y'all. At certain countries you go to and certain parts of America, when you 15 and up, hell, even 14. Like I lived in Kentucky before. When you 14 down there in Kentucky, them folks is driving already. I'm talking about the tractors and everything, doing everything already. It's like only in certain parts in the world where you feel your kid or whatever is still a child, bruh. When you reach a certain age and mindset, and some reach it even more advanced than people who are older than them. Once you have understanding, no more excuses, bro. You can't just keep making excuses for this man like that. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm going to still say free take care. You know what I mean? But I've been saying that day one. Check the videos. I just say that for everybody. Can y'all look at yourselves and say, do you really honestly care if this man is home or not? Can you honestly say that? Tay K get to look at himself in the mirror through self-reflection. Let's say he is guilty, because I'm not here to say he's guilty. Let's say he is guilty. My, or, or, or we can even look at it if he's not guilty. Bro, the situations you put yourself in, did you have leeway and time to get away from that situation and reframe from going backwards and tracking yourself back to that gutter life you wanted to live or was forced to live? Because as I hear it, he allegedly said he has family that were gang banging in California. Then they moved down over there. So maybe it's a way of life. He knows. But I don't want to say that about his mom and dad because they're probably looking at it at like, like, hold on, bro. What you mean? So what if we had gang ties or not? We raised you well. So it falls back to you, TK. Accountability for that actions, bro. When, while you sitting up in there, is it is it getting to you? That like like look, look look at this picture you got right here. I remember this is a picture from 2019. They put that prevention. I don't want to say the other word because of YouTube purposes, but y'all can read it. You see what it says? It says Tay K wearing the S word prevention suit, and somebody wrote um um in jail. Dog like like they shocked by it, but I'm not. Motherfuckers be having breakdown. Dudes be up in there having breakdowns for real, bro. I got real friends in prison locked up. Ain't came home since like 2003, bro. Like, dudes out here, bro, is is really catching them football numbers. 
and the way this man was moving bro if you are a felon or a criminal or whatever you got family locked up you did time yourself or you or, or you're locked up yourself right now and you hearing this video that i'm doing you gotta look at this dude with disdain and thinking like bro this ain't no games and the way they did his story bro like it was a game whether you want to or not bro they did his story like it was a game bro i've never seen that before bro I i've seen people killing all that before you know about you're in the neighborhoods and this i'm not talking about people killing people i'm talking about the theatrics they damn near made this a movie bro and i seen people rooting it on and cheering and i was sitting back like because when you've seen these situations and been in them, bruh, and you know the numbers they giving out, because last time I checked, Texas is just like Florida, bruh. Them years that they throw out like candies, bruh, like they don't even care, bruh. And this man was just like, it ain't that I'm scary or this and that. It's like I got people who love me and people that I got to take care of out here, bruh. I, I, I hate to say it the way some of y'all say it, bro. I, I, I'm a life source for people who love me out here, bro, meaning like to take care of and all that. I can't be fumbling the play for some dumb moves like that, bro. And this man was sitting on projects, and I don't care what you say, his rapping was great. He would have made it regardless, and he been had a little wave buzzing. It's just it went bigger because of the race. I ain't going to fake the funk. I give you that. But, nah, you can keep it, bro. If my life got to be changed for the rest of my life so I can make these fake people to love me, bro, I, or, or whether it's the fake fans or the fake niggas around you, bro. I gotta do all that, bro. I don't want to be part of that game, bro. I'm. I, I gotta go towards the the J Cole route or something like that, bro. Because last time I checked, the real niggas who come from the street, they just give you the story. Meaning they're gonna tell you about the murders and bodies, but not current ones that can get you locked up and not really the past too. They just telling you a story of what they've been through. That way they can't get indicted on nothing, nothing like that. That's why the like, rest in peace to King Von. I do like storytellers. That's why I like Kodak Black. I don't care what you saying who's lyrical, who's not. I like a storyteller. Shout out to Slick the Ruler, man. Slick Rick, what they call him. You know what I mean, bro? I come from that generation. And TK. He, he gave you a good story, but he was going deep in that thing, bruh. Wh wh whether you like what I'm saying or not, a real one gonna tell you the truth, bruh. This is the truth serum. Charleston White said what he had to say because he come from that same place. Me and him have different reasonings and different ways we spit it out, but I can't fake the funk and say what he's saying is far-fetched or anything like that. You dudes wasn't saying free free uh take K for a minute. You bloggers wasn't. Now his sister come out and say free take K. Everybody and their mama wanna say it again. But where were you, bruh? Where were you? Nice like this when they killed Biggie and Pop. Where were you when they killed King Von? Where were you? When they killed FBG Duck, and it's a whole, honestly, I can't sing all day for y'all. It's millions of damn names, not just the rappers who died, but your brothers, my brothers, my friends, your friends, families. Like, it, we all been through this, bro. And if you been through it, it look weird, bro. Like, damn, we just gonna have it and do a celebration on this, bro. I'm not even supposed to be doing videos like this right now because I'm focused more on my compilation videos that I like doing for y'all that breaks it down and gives you the goodies and gives you the receipts as they like to say you know what I mean I'm, I'm not a gossip of the tea channel I'm real nigga with the spill I like doing it like that now the numbers been great but I, I don't I don't want to quit doing these type of segments what Tay K is going through is what all our homies in them went through but they they hold it down in a certain way because somewhat they understood what was about to happen bro like you know the the deja vu i almost feel like tk didn't see what was coming i just didn't do no video saying the years but i talked somewhat about it even before he even was caught or anything that was like 2017 y'all tell me if i'm tripped out or not 2017 and 18 i think mostly 17 tell me if i'm tripping or not i remember this bro and, and, and this nigga was like just He's in the video pointing at the um the pictures that showing that he's wanted and all that. I'm like, bro, you enticing these folks, bro. They know where you at, dog. They let that ish build up. I think you dudes don't know that. If it's past 2001, y'all know what happened September 11, 2001, the infamous day. Rest in peace to everybody. You know what I mean? Y'all know that day. 
A lot of laws and things got changed, my nigga. Different technology. And I think they've been had technology like that, but they could find you, bro. A lot of the times, we just leave you there to see who else we can indict along with you, bro. Incriminate with you, whatever you want to call it. Catch and release, bro. Take care. You can't tell me you ain't seen this coming, bro. I ain't going to sit here and, and, and cry me a river. I mean, free that, man, but I can't. Like, I can't hold everybody's hands out here. If y'all want me to do that, that's y'all have some sickness in y'all head. So I'm supposed to hold everybody's hands who's not responsible enough to know what their actions can cause them. Whether right or wrong, you know this world is messed up. When y'all gonna keep and quit saying the same thing over and over again? Man, look, I'm your boy, Blessed One. Thank you for watching another episode of Osmo Hip Hop Live. Salute to Charleston White. You know what I mean? Salute to all of y'all involved. Blessings to his family. I hope y'all can overcome this. Like many families doing right now. Facts.